So there's one thing, the film is called Joker, but I don't know, it wasn't funny. It was funny in like two places, but not because it was funny, it's because it was actually ghastly. Whereas Christopher Nolan, Heath Ledger's Joker was funny, quite funny at times. And I struggled with this a little bit because at the end of the day, it's not adhering to any version of the Joker before, which of course they can do whatever they want. But I feel like ultimately it's just a film about a guy going mad with the name Joker on it to sell tickets. Is that a bit provocative? It may well be. G'day everybody, how are you going? Well, you know, we haven't had a movie Monday in a while, and tonight I want to talk about a modern day classic. And that is Joker, which I've just seen, and well, I'm not sure. Now to begin with, I want to say there will be spoilers. In this, in this piece. So if you haven't seen Joker, or you don't want to hear about it, or you don't want to talk about it, now's the time to change channels. Let's talk Joker. What, what a better place to talk about Joker than in the midi, middle of the city, in a dirty laneway, next to a nightclub. You can probably hear the noise coming through the sound. Bottles being dropped and broken. And the highlight, perhaps the highlight of Joker for me was the cinematography, the superb photography in the film Joker. It's probably the best, some of the best cinematography that I've seen in quite a number of years. So it really resonated with me and I think it's an absolutely beautiful looking film. The grunge, the laneways, the textures, the stairs, and of course that 1980s New York slash Gotham aesthetic. Absolutely gorgeously photographed, short depth of field, great long lenses, just beautifully done. And might I say, very reminiscent of how I like to photograph. with a, a, a razor short depth of field. In places just like this, where I spend half my life. So from a visual perspective, I highly recommend Joker. But its content is tough. And I just wonder whether it's the type of message that we need to see in this day and age. So some have argued that Joker is trying to talk about disenfranchised people and mental illness. And well it is, I'm just not sure that it's telling that story clearly enough. And ultimately the movie making, the Hollywood, the guns and the violence aspects of the film become more important than the message. Because I'm not 100% sure what the message is other than if you get kicked enough times and you start off a little bit crazy, you go insane and you kill people. That's, that's kind of the main message. But I'd love to know, did you get something else from the film? Another really beautiful part of this film is the music and I feel the score is perfect for the film. Even if it's not a perfect film, the score is very moody, very rousing and very evocative. Stunning music. So of 
course, Joaquin Phoenix. He's a, an actor who has been working a very long time and there is Oscar talk in regards to this role. And he has done an absolutely amazing performance. He lost a great deal of weight and he has said being hungry all the time helped with his madness. So, so yes, he did an amazing job. I do wonder though when you're playing a mad, crazy, iconic character like the Joker, whether that's easier than just playing an everyday person and doing that well. I don't want to take anything from Joaquin and his version of the Joker is up there with Heath Ledger's but this one is so dark, so dark and it just it, it poses a lot of questions as to who is Joaquin and how did they do this I don't know, it's a film that's still sitting with me in a difficult place as to how close to the wind they're sailing with the ideas. And, but a great performance. Let's call it a great performance for now. And uh, it's something I want to process further. And for those of you who have seen the film, hopefully all of you, because there's so many spoilers at this point, I'd love to know what you think as well. So Joker, is, is it going to be a classic? Is it going to be the next Clockwork Orange talking about what could be with society? What is with society? Clockwork Orange in 1971 by Stanley Kubrick was not loved by a lot of people because of the ultra-violence as it was actually called in the film. And it was actually banned from England for a very long time. Is this a classic? Or is it exploitation? I, I'm really struggling with it. I'm really struggling with it. And in this age of terrorism, where things happen on television, life imitating art, art imitating life, yeah, I struggle with it. So I would love to know your thoughts. What do you think of Joker 2019 starring Joaquin Phoenix? Is it a film you love? Is it a film that'll win an Oscar? Will it win best director, best music, cinematography? And of course, Joaquin, what do you think? Will he get a gong for a great performance? I'd love to know your thoughts. So as always, thank you so much for watching. It's been great to see you. And if this is your first time here and I'd love to see you again, please subscribe. Please share, makes us all smarter. And uh, please like, because that gets the word out of there. Out, out, out there, out of there, out, out anywhere. And uh, I'll see you later.